Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We should begin to unravel this mystery. What are you? The music box probably it belonged to one of the students. Okay. Nope. What are you? Not the mirror. The coin. I am Mr. Vinch. Mr. Vinch. Anything new? Uh, it's fancy. Weird tales. The poor woman has fallen into an uneasy fitful sleep. I didn't so see you the first time. Bit, uh, yes, yes. Cannot help you right now. That's that. The outside. Music box? No. I want to know what's happening here. Oh, a bunch of medical reports. A picture of Saint Camillus de Lely, patron saint of the sick, hospitals and nurses. He seems to have forsaken this place. I guess so. What the? Some bandages, band bleh, some bandages and other medical equipment. Nothing of interest. You sure? Apparently so. No. No. <laughs> the wooden stick is too thick to use it for winding the music box. Would need something thinner. I don't think that breaking the music box serves any purpose. Could damage the wooden stick. Why don't you do it? I cannot see the use of tying the net to the stone. They're not creative enough. I can see the sense of covering the music box by the net. I'm just grasping straws right now. Uh, you hear something new? Sister, please, I just want to be alone. Okay, okay. Mm. Ask about Mr. Baldwin. Who is Mr. Baldwin? Monsignor instructed me to take him on as a caretaker. Many of the sisters find him a bit strange, but he performs his work well and complains little. Oh. Have there been many deaths lately? Mother Elizabeth, Mr. Baldwin told me that lately a lot of patients are dying. What is happening? 
Sadly, the Lord is taking many of these unfortunate souls. Uh. <coughs> hmm. Well, thank you anyway. Mr. Baldwin again. And he has nothing new to say. Have a nice evening. Another voice I did for him. I not remember any voice except Mr. Finch because he's so sickly. This is the beach, I found the net and the lock. something and I don't like it. Small group of graves haphazardly arranged. A reasonably dark grave. He's still digging though. An ancient blackthorn tree, twisted by time and weather. Of course not. Why should it? No. <sighs> Andrew Gabriel. It's a little thing. No. I have to miss something. And it's pixelated glory is probably right in my eye. And I just too stupid to see. Ah. Room. Just don't get it. <sighs> ah, shame. Photographs of people, most likely family and friends of this bed's previous resident. Uh -huh. Nothing else? Really? A pale young boy. I miss something here. Textbooks. It was a music box. Books. A diary. I don't know 
Entrance. That's clearly the angel. <sighs> In death there's hope. In death there's life. One must seek its true nature to understand nothing. There's hope and death is life. You, uh, dear brother, one must understand its true nature. I kind of feel that this is a hint. For what? Camillus de Lely, who has forsaken this place. The stone that once belonged to the angel, Gab to the angel Gabriel's fountain. No, of course not. No. Gloomy statue. So no. What am I missing? Boy, of this episode. What am I missing? No, 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 There's a puddle in the shower hole with something shining under the grating. Can I see it properly? Chunk of this mirror. Yes, I have the said chunk. Old, rusty, and poorly maintained. The net has no use here. But where? <laughs> Near the coin. What the fuck is going on? 
If you do something with that, oh, for I need a complete loss right now. not and nothing new that whoever made it was a bit rushed to finish. Oh! 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 the tune oh 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 I'm just plain stupid oh what a beautiful melody it reminds me of my youth when I was vibrant and full of purpose I know. I, I knew my path then. Oh, may God bless you, for you have given me the sign I was looking for. What? Really? A lot of dry leaves have accumulated in the hole of this old rusty pipe. They are blocking the water stream. This hole has very sharp and rusty edges. If I try to put my hand in it, I could cut myself. <sighs> really? Some object happened to pass through. Are you serious? Yes, yes, yes. Open the tap. Aha. Strokes of genius. After a period of stupidity. Hmm. The net has caught a shiny object. Take it. Yes. Teardrop. It's a glass tear. Probably once belonged to a piece of jewelry. No, no. Okay. Rosary beads, morphine. Ooh. Now we have the shiny object. Piety! 
Piety, piety, piety. Move, Jeremiah, move. No. Oh. We've placed the glass tear in a hollow of the virgin's cheek. It seems that it fits perfectly. In the eyes of a fervent devotee, it could look like a real tear. If I could only make it shine. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Oh, the mother is crying. Oh, my lord, what does it mean? It, eh. What have I done? What have we done? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello. You, <laughs> you must say, <have> <coughs> what can I do? What's wrong with you? There's a little time. I tell them about my pain. I describe some terrible and endless pain. Yet they do not listen. They pass me by without even looking at me. They say that they are praying for me, but it does not cure my ailment. But, sir, uh, I... I know. But I beseech you. You will be saving me from horrible torture. I will be eternally indebted to you. Wait, what? 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 <coughs> no! I, I'm very sorry, sir. I do not wish to extend your suffering, but I cannot pay for your relief at the cost of your life. You must be your shoulder terrible, boy. I will speak to Mother Elizabeth to see if there is anything more she can do for you. I, uh, I understand <coughs> the magnitude of what I'm asking. Thanks, anyway, sir. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. One of the patients wishes to die as soon as God permits. Mother Elizabeth. One of the patients patience has begged me to do end his life is there anything we can do to alleviate his suffering no more than is already being done by mortal hands mr devitt it is for god alone to decide the moment of his release this is all i can do for him take this to him thank you mother i leave you with your duties a bible Really? Mama, are you? She's praying fervently. Why a flipping Bible? He's in pain. Oh. I don't understand. I really and truly don't understand. I, okay, I, I can understand him. He's suffering. Wait, what? What? It's not on the bed. What a lies, what a lies, what a lies, what a lies. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Yes, what in heaven? Are you? What the? An unsubbed and walking stick. These no doubt belong to the nun I spoke to by the window. Where did she... Did she? Are you... Hmm. 
What kind of madness is going on here? I know, I know, I know. You will not be buried right now. The time has not come. What the flippin' heck? Jeez. Seriously. Wait, 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 wait. Is she? Okay. Where the flip are you? It, look, it looks like a toolbox. I wonder if there's something useful in it. I might be able to take a look if I keep him distracted. Hey. Tell me about this place. Well, the construction of the building was all up by an Episcopal Bishop of Aberdeen. In 1805. Uh -huh. Tell me about Mother Elizabeth now. She is pretty strict. I can tell you that much, Mr. DeWitt. Don't think she likes me very much either. Okay. Monsignor? I cannot rightly say. But all these years I have never seen the man. Who knows? Maybe he doesn't exist. But Mother Elizabeth told me that Monsignor specific, specifically requested her to hire you by letter. I am flattered my reputation precedes me, but I cannot tell you anything more about the man. Okay, tell me about Aberdeen. It was a place where I was born and raised, one of the biggest cities in Scotland. Oi, you seem a bit distracted, Mr. DeWitt. Oh, do not worry about it. I leave you with your work. Excuse the interruption, Mr. Baldwin. I leave you with your work. Have a nice evening. That's the question. That's the question. Yes! The darkness of his eye! Dude, his body is petrified. He has a look of sheer terror in his eyes. Oh my god, but what has happened? Talk, talk to me! Mother Elizabeth is trying to make him come to, to his senses. Bible? No, of course not. Music box? No. The look of his eye. <coughs> Baldwin lies. Speaking of which...
this is like a... Uh... Old win? I got a beach. How many have you buried here? Old nun. Uh, could she have gone into the water? Any progress? No. from Eldritch to murder mystery. Well, you are certainly right. Uh, oh. Of course. Communicates with other areas in the house. No. No. It was worth a shot. Aye. Back to square one. Oh. Or maybe not. A large, bright, and ornate key. Take it! Take it. What the fuck? Don't look into his eyes. Uh, what? What are you talking about? Because the deepest darkness. What the? Dwells in his eyes. What? Come in, my son. Did you think you could hide these books from me? They are just classic philosophy books. Uh, philosophy books, Father Plato and Aristotle. Silence! Instruments of, instruments of falsehood, falsehood, humane. Fallacies coming from a snake. Now, son, get on your knees and raise your arms. Ow! Apologize to the Lord. Ow! Pray to the Lord! Ow! Madam in C. Evil in itself. Strange eye shaped symbol. What the. Okay. Another symbol. I was a bird. Crows. What the fuck? Set of crucifixes next to the door. <coughs> I think that are the birds. Lord, your eyes burn me. I don't deserve mercy nor forgiveness. Oh Lord, have mercy on my soul. Who are you sending me? Is death to whom you are handing me over? Has my hourglass already run out of sand? Father Ernest? Ernest? It's been many years since I last heard that name. Since... Oh, I see. Father, I'm here 
to be able to remember, you have to help me, I beg you. Please, entreaties, petitions, praying, torment, exemption. Pastimes bring us misfortune and pain. For the earnest, I was one of your students. One of my old students, you say? It's only the Lord who teaches us. We all must follow his ordinances and disciplines. At closer, son. Come, pray next to me. The flying flip. He has a large burn covering his eye. He's completely blind. Despite his decrepitude, extreme thinness and paleness, he can still recognize Father Ernest. But he seems far away, like in another world. Creepy image of Christ crucified. Inexplicably, it has a dark cloth covering his, covering his head. The makeshift altar is coated in a dense layer of wax. Candles having almost burned out, only barely illuminate, illuminate the room. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and the Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Now, my son, tell the Lord which one is his voice, the sharp sword, the wise quill, or a delicate petal. The wise quill? No, 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 you are enveloped by sin! Uh, I skipped the blessed penance. Your soul lives embraced by the darkness. The lost seaman? Yes, yes, that's it, my son. We live lost. We live lost in an endless ocean of sin and blame. Now, leave me alone. I have to purify my soul. What? Is even... Oh! Haha, <laughs> cursor. Ah, yes, yes. Very funny. The old razor blade stained with blood. Dear God in heaven, I feel for you, like this in my eyes. I will burn them for you. Dear God in heaven, I feel myself in you. Your eyes are in my soul. I will burn it for you. Dear God in heaven, I feel myself in you. I feel your sword is in my hands. I will burn them for you. Dear God in heaven, I hate myself in you. My blame is in your heart. I will burn myself for you. For... This is again. Your light is in my eyes. I will burn them. Your eyes are in my soul. I will burn it. Your sword is in my hand. I will burn them. My blame is in your heart. The Okay. I have a Bible. I now have a razor. Hello. But 
What is happening? I'm seriously asking myself to which god he is praying. Lose it. Oh. Um. And finally, our expert on philosophy, Jeremiah David, shows up. Where were you, my friend? We have been looking for you. Well, as I was saying, tonight is a perfect moment for our next meeting. But I suspect that someone outside our group is secretly surveilling us. Who is it, Anthony? My dear friends, it is Professor Flynn. Do you mean for the Ernest? Certainly, no doubt about it. Therefore, dear colleagues, I have decided to change the venue of for tonight's meeting. Have you noticed the launch behind the small door of the classroom? I have believed convenient to borrow the key for our necessities. You already know. At twelve o'clock, you will find that the map. You will find that door opened, and I'll be inside the launch. That is it, my dearest colleagues. Get in a case yet. Okay. I remember, th I remember that in this French we used to keep some of our personal belongings. Now it's empty. The walls are in complete disarray. Could probably punch through it if I tried. Hmm. Excuse me. I remember that this is a bed where I used to sleep when I was a student. Dusty mirror. What is the reason for me... of my being here? Oh, I just go to sleep. Mr. Rabbit was jumping through the forest in a warm spring afternoon. What the flip? When going through a bush, Mr. Rabbit ran into Mr. Wolf, Mr. Vulture, and Mr. Or Mrs. Snake. We're having a heated argument. Um, I, uh... Okay. Oh. Mr. Rabbit, curious, asked him, Dearest, why are you arguing this beautiful and cheerful spring afternoon? Oh. Mr. Wolf answered politely. What we are trying to decide is who of us will have the pleasure to eat you up. Ouch. Me? Mr. Rod really scared said, but I do not want to be eaten, I want to live. Uh, there's something very wrong here. To which Mrs. Snake answered smiling. It is impossible to happen, Mr. Rabbit. Since we all, both you and us, are going to die sooner or later, don't you think so? Uh, I don't like this, Mr. Walchild. Mrs. Snake is right. We should stick to the issue at hand. It is getting late, and as you see, we do not agree. Do you want to help us to decide, Mr. Rabbit? Who would you suggest as the one to eat you? Oh. After thinking about it for a while, Mr. Rabbit came up with an idea and carefully said, I got it! Why not, why not to organize a race? The first who arrives to the forest clearing will have the privilege to eat me. No doubt, Mr. Wolf can run at high speed, but Mr. Walter can fly, can go flying, and 
avoid any obstacle, and I'm sure that Mrs. Snake knows all the shortcuts within the forest. What do you think? What the? The three pred predators agreed that, it's, that it was fair, so they started the race and they quickly disappeared. Uh, follow the blood, yay. Mr. Rabbit, happy to trick them, started running at high speed in the opposite direction of the predators, who, eager to prove their worth, didn't realize the trick. I should start running the other way! Uh, the launch. Let's go. This is leading me to the launch. Mr. Red was far away from there and he finally felt safe, happy and proud of his cunning. But suddenly there was a loud bang. The earth, the earth shook, frightened, frightened birds flew, and everything went dark. The end. Whoa! No, 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 Screw that. Fuck that noise. Wait a second. If I go in there, I hear the bang. And for some odd reason, I don't like to be shot. Unless it's so the Monty Python killer rabbits. I should be safe. It's impossible love! An impossible love! What the fuck? There's something I kept to myself for a long time. And the thing is that I love. And the thing is that I love you. I don't didn't read it all. Then the first time I saw you, since the first time I felt your frozen hands? Each time I move away from you, I miss your glassy, empty dead eyes! I miss your rough hair, your grey skin, your stench! But our love just cannot be. It is an impossible love. What? And what the? No, not again. How long have I been sweeping? What was all that about? I don't like my haunted place. It plays in my memories. <laughs> Jesus, flipping old twin. Everything okay here? Well, normal, I should say. Wait, 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 wait. Launch, 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 launch. There! My disturbing nightmare was brought to this spot. Oh dear. This is a trap I saw in my nightmare. From here sprouts a horrible stench. There's something down there. Oh. Did you see? Did you see? It was there, just in front of me. The thing. It was screaming. Dead. He's dead. His face is contorted in an expression of object abject horror. Oh 
Gott. Even more. Jesus. Maria und Josef. What? Functions always do it. Now all that remains is to introduce our guest. You may come in now, Professor. Father Ernest! Do not worry, my friend. I invited him to join us this evening. The Professor genuinely shares our curiosity, and who better to complete our group than one of the most renowned theologists? Moreover, we mustn't ban those who are willing to explore beyond the whale. The whale? In capitals? The moment we have long awaited has now arrived. Please, all of you, take a seat and we shall begin the procedure. Soon shall the door open and then may we finally see what lies beyond. Now I ask that you close your eyes. You will feel a momentary prick as I inject you with a serum. What the... Even after all these years, I have not forgotten your voice. You were the fourth witness. I remember. I remember now what happened. What is that I've, that we saw? Oh, I was a bird. Well, I'm insane. What happened to us? What is that? What is it that we witnessed? You must tell me. We must make. You must make me understand what my mind cannot fathom. It was our curiosity that damned us. We opened that which should not be opened. In doing so, we shone the way that separated our world from his. In seeking vision, we were ourselves seen by the eye of the bird. It remembers us. It looks for us. It calls us from its dark nest. From its imponderable lair. All these years I have attempted to return to it, but I have no strength left. These poor wretched creatures are too fragile. They lack the psyche to return. Not one of them has. Only us, the four witnesses. Who are the two? Where are they? They disappeared as you did. I haven't heard from any of you. But I was seized by curiosity. It absconded with my faith and deprived me of sanity. Oh Lord, forgive me for I have sinned. Nothing remains. All that is left is surrender. Surrender to him. Gravely have we sinned now. And now our only absolution is to burn. To burn in the flames. What the? What? No, 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 He's burying me! He's legitimate, legitimately burying me! I don't like it! Make it stop! No! For Christ's sake! Would you please... 
Seek me out. Well, I guess not. Bitch, please! Take me out! And it is all Eldritch. We go full on Lovecraft here. F f crying out loud. I even made a cross. Wow. Just wow. Well. Good night and sleep well. If you can.